Hey everybody, it's Infinite Drift, and welcome back to the Survival Let's Play series. Do you notice anything different about me? Yeah, that's right, I got a new skin, Oh yeah. The last skin I had was one that I kinda threw together really quickly and didn't put much effort into, so the other night I decided to spend a bit more time on one and make it look a little bit more like me. I think the striped shirt looks really cool, and honestly I'm wearing one really similar as I record this, so I think it's fair to say that it suits me quite well. We have a lot of stuff to do for today's episode. Uh, I really want to go to the Mesa biome and see what's there. We explored it a little bit in the beginning, but we didn't really go through it much. I think I'm ready to go back and kind of just see what's around, see if we can gather some good resources, see if there's any good loot. After that, I really want to make a diamond pickaxe and hopefully get an enchanting table together. Once we get those two things, it'll honestly open so many more doors for us. We can build another portal, we can start enchanting, so I would really really like to get that done today and one more thing that I have on today's list is that I would really like to build a chicken coop I have a design ready to go but we might not get to that today so if we do that's great if not we'll save it for the next episode so let's get everything that we need together to head to the Mesa biome pretty much have everything I need let me just put all of my armor back on we've got our shield it's still pretty good to go iron sword looks a little bit rough I might make another one one just in case. I don't want to be stuck out there with no iron sword, but I'll probably bring this iron with me anyway. We'll get our crafting table with us. We've got a bed. We've got some steak. However, I think we might need a little bit more. 16 should be good. And let's bring an extra furnace. I don't know if I have any out there. I probably have so many extra hanging around. I just keep making thousands of furnaces because I forget that I have some already. Yep, got two right there. <laughs> That's okay, I'll use them for other things. So I think I'm pretty much ready to go. Oh, hello chicken, you're so cute. All right, let's head to our boat and let's be on our way. So yeah, like I said before, we're gonna head over to the Badlands. We're basically just gonna explore, look around, gather some resources. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of gold over there. That's kind of what the Badlands is known for. I'm not sure if diamond generates more frequently over there as well, but I do think there's also some good loot around the area as well that I wanna check out. And honestly, maybe while we're at it, we can also grab some terracotta and stuff like that, just because it'd be nice to have for building materials. So we'll take some time gathering some other resources as well. There she is. Alrighty, looks like we're here. I'm just gonna leave the boat over here while we explore. Got lots of torches, got our iron pickaxe ready to go, we got our sword, and I can't forget to equip my shield. Along the way, let's grab all this string as well. Always need string for building random various things. Haven't used it yet, but I just know that eventually once you begin crafting with it, you do need a lot of it. Eventually, maybe we can start making candles too. We're gonna have to um, find some bees though so we can get some honeycomb. Perfect, there's tons of gold already. And maybe while we're at it, we'll grab some of these tracks. And I think I'm gonna start taking apart some of this because this is, is this dark oak? Yeah, awesome. I have come across a dark oak forest yet so in the meantime at least we have this that's one biome that we're gonna have to find soon actually we're gonna have to do some exploring beyond just what we've seen so far because we're also um we haven't found the swamp yet which i'd really like to find because i really really need some vines for my build so i think in a couple episodes we're gonna have to do some major exploring of the land just to see what's around these tracks are so satisfying to take apart all right we got to be careful around here I remember last time i was here there were tons Tons of mobs hanging around. I hear you, but I do not. Oh, there you are. Maybe I can get him with the bow. Come on. <laughs> Got him. I need to get infinity on my bow <laughs> real bad because I'm just burning through arrows. See ya. All right, what's around here? Hopefully no creepers. I hear many, many mobs though. Oh my gosh. Sounds like they're everywhere. <gasps> oh no. Oh, oh my God, there's so many. Why? No. Where are you all coming from? I'm gonna use my axe actually, because usually I think these do a little bit more damage. It feels like it anyway. All right, let's light up this area real quick. I act like I'm so brave until I'm here and now I'm like terrified. There's gotta be more around here. Here's so many mobs. Oh no. This was a great idea, but also a horrible idea, I feel. Tons of gold I'm getting at least. 
If we could find diamond, I don't think so. I feel like the Mesa biome's more so known for gold, but if we could find diamond, that would be pretty awesome. I haven't had a chance to yet, but I really need to make a branch mine soon. Just so when I'm off camera, I can branch mine away, gather a bunch of resources. So you're not all constantly coming down into the mines with me for like minimal, minimal resources. It just helps things go a lot smoother, I find. Creeper central. Hey, come here. I have something to show you. Me, oh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Let me hit you. Oh, no, 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 no. The water's dragging me forward. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad idea. Bad idea. I don't think they can swim, really. He's kind of struggling, so... I might have a little bit of an advantage here. Not really. Just let them blow up. Well, that kind of worked out into my favor, honestly. I don't know. I, every time I break down these walls, I keep revealing more of the mine. <laughs> it's never-ending. Where did I get this potato from? I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe one of the mobs dropped it? I have no idea. I'm gonna sleep through the night, so hopefully less mobs spawn. So I'm getting a little bit scared here. I hear them. There you are. I'm just gonna let you do your thing there. It's just kind of like walking into them. Oh no, no, he saw me. You don't see me. <gasps> There's so many of them. Go away. Ah, uh, bye. <laughs> Just gonna collect your bones and your arrows. Thank you. That was actually very effective. All right, zombie. Oh no, my axe broke. You have to make another one. Cause I kind of like using the axe more for combat sometimes. Doesn't seem to be much down here except the tracks that we can grab and all of this terracotta. I am gonna use this little area though, just to place my crafting table and my furnace. I'm gonna start smelting some of this gold. And what I can do is I'm gonna make another pickaxe and probably another ax, cause I wanted to use it for combat, I think. Yeah. I've been using terracotta and other uh, blocks to build recently, and I love the look of it, honestly, especially the white terracotta with spruce. Mm, looks so good. All right, we're going to let this stuff smelt, and we're going to keep exploring. All right, let's go... Hmm. Let's see what's around this way on the outside, because there's a couple more entrances from here. This is a little bit of a weird drop. All right, let's make a little staircase going down. I don't want to fall into this pit and not be able to get out. It would not be good. Ooh, got some iron. I know like three minutes ago, I was afraid of how many mobs there were, but now I'm wondering where all the mobs are at. It's quiet and it's too quiet. Oh, just saw a creeper. They're hanging around. See his little feet, look at him. Oh, there they are. So many. There's so many in pairs. What is up with that? Come on. Oh, I didn't mean for him to explode. That's all right though. He took down the fencing for me, so that's fine. Maybe I'll let this one explode too. Here. Come on. There we go. Now I don't have to chop all that wood down. There's actually quite a bit of stuff down here. It's a lot more than I expected. Oh no, stay away. All right, so this whole area kind of looped around. So I think I'm just gonna find the entrance to which I came from again, right here. There's lots of levels to this. So we went on the lower level right there. There's like an upper level over here that we haven't really explored yet. Oh yeah, there's like a huge system over here. Cool. Ooh, sweet loot. What? Oh my God, diamond, heck yeah, awesome. That's, oh, oh my God. What are you doing here? Like, what are you actually doing here? Oh my god, I can't believe there's diamond in here. So much lapis. We got an enchanted book. We got respiration. This is awesome. Oh, yes. So exciting. What a good find. I didn't realize there'd be diamond loot in here, honestly. Get rid of that rotten flesh and maybe I can pick up... Oh no, it's just swapping the two. I want the cart and I want the free chest. Hello. These guys spawn so randomly, I find. Is there anything down here that's noteworthy? So I realized I made a, maybe a little bit of a mistake. I got too ahead of myself. I don't think I should have smelted that gold just because now I have gold bars and I have raw gold to bring back with me. So I'm kind of just like, ooh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> It's just taking up more space in my inventory. That's okay, we've got like a pretty good chunk of stuff that we've collected here. So honestly, like we could probably head back. We can always come back for this stuff later. I'm sure we'll be coming back here because there's so much to loot still. There's a ton of gold. We can always use this terracotta. There's tons of like string. So I say we've gotten a fair amount and we should just head back. And maybe we can start going back down into the mines by our place, gather some obsidian and make our first enchanting table. Look at that sunset. Super pretty. Dang, that sky though, look at that. It's so beautiful. Minecraft is such a beautiful game, honestly. 
I love it so much. Oh, fire zombie. All right, all right. So I'm gonna throw the chest down right here. And maybe what we can do is we can use this spot just as a little station for when we come back next. I'm gonna grab this gold, and I think we're gonna head back because we got like a fair bit of loot from here, and I'm pretty satisfied. It's honestly the diamonds that did it for me. I can't believe we found, what was it, four diamonds. That's awesome. I'm sure there's other parts of this that we have to explore, but I think we'll do the rest on another day because we've got pretty much everything we need. And what I think we'll do now is we'll head back to our place, uh, we'll grab a bucket of water, head down into our mines, and I think we're gonna try and grab some obsidian so we can make an enchanting table. So I kind of came up with an idea for where I want my enchanting room to go, and I kind of thought that I want to dig out a tunnel and cave into this hill over here and make my own little sort of lush cave with the enchanting room in there and we could put like the glowberries in there a bunch of vines maybe we could have like a little axolotl farm as well so yeah i was kind of struggling to come up with an idea of what i wanted before because originally i kind of wanted like a secret garden but i think if we do a really really cool cave entrance here that's almost hidden looking and it like goes directly into this hill i think that would honestly look even better so yeah i'm really really excited for that project as well i think it's gonna look really cool once we complete it so now that we're back i'm gonna put everything away really quickly and we'll head down into the caves and gather up as much obsidian as we can. All right, so all together we've got nine diamonds so far. That is a really, really good start. I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna take three because we're gonna make our diamond pickaxe now. Finally, yeah, diamond pickaxe, let's go, awesome. So all we need now is a bucket and we will fill it with water and head down into the mines. I know there's lava right here, and I feel like I could somehow turn all of this into obsidian or something, but I just don't want to mess with this area because it's so pretty, so I'm just gonna pretend I don't see that. Alright, let's grab our water, and while we're at it, let's feed the cows real quickly because we're gonna need some leather for when we get back. Because we're gonna have to make some books so we can make our enchanting table. There we go. Alright, we got our new diamond pickaxe in our hand, and let's go down and find some lava. I'm super, super excited to be able to do this finally. It's gonna be so exciting. Same with building the nether portal. Oh, I am so excited for that. I'm wondering where we will land though. The last biome that I landed in in my last world that I had was not good. <laughs> I was in the Solson Valley and it was honestly truly a nightmare to navigate. The ghasts like were just constantly constantly bothering me. It was so stressful so I'm kind of hoping we end up in something a little bit more tame than that. All right, I hear lava. I just don't really see any. Oh yeah, somebody in my comments mentioned that I have walked by an amethyst geode. I forget where it is though. I'm gonna have to go look at the timestamp because I didn't even notice. All right, Lava, where are you at? All right, there's a bunch here. Perfect. Oh, no. How do I do this? All right, where is this lava waterfall coming from? Because I'm like, maybe I should just like grab it from the source and make a lava pond, if that makes sense. I don't know if this is gonna work, but it's worth a shot. We'll try it out together. Let me put my water aside for now. I'll make like a little mini pond. This feels very overly complicated, but let's see. All right, now let me make my very own lava pond. If this works, I'm gonna be amazed. In theory, it should though. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, mm, maybe? I feel like I'm only gonna get like one obsidian out of it because of the way it's flowing. Yeah, I don't know if this is worth it. I don't think it's gonna work really. Oh no! <laughs> I completely messed that up. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, how did I mess that up? That was so bad. Oh, wait. Oh my god. There's obsidian right here. <laughs> what? I didn't even try to do it. Oh. <laughs> if I had just gone a bit further, there's so much right here. And there's like a giant lava pond, which I was searching for for like 10 minutes. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. I always overcomplicate everything. That was so funny. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Are you all ready? Come on. Oh yeah, it's happening. Slowly but surely. Oh, my inventory's full. Dang it, it's just floating there. No! 
I wanted it to be like a really cool moment. Okay, let me just toss some of this away. Eh, we don't need this. Yeah! Got our obsidian, finally. All right, I'm gonna gather a bunch of this up because I wanna make our portal as well eventually. So I'm gonna spend time collecting most of this and we'll have an enchanting table and hopefully a portal. This really takes forever to mine. Oh no, this is taking so long. Almost there. Oh. Do you need like 12 or something to make a portal? I really don't remember. So I'm gonna play it safe. I'm at 14 right now. I'm gonna grab a couple more, I think, and then I'll head back up. All right, so I have 18. I think that's enough. If not, at least I know where this is. So I'm not gonna be struggling to find it anymore, but I think that should be enough to make our enchanting table and a portal. Now all we have to do is navigate our way out of here and we'll go back up and we'll make our enchanting table. All right, so I made it out alive. We've got all of our obsidian and we're good to go. Just gonna put everything away really quickly and we'll make our table. All right, everything's been put away and now we just need to go feed the cows so we can gather some leather. One thing I truly regret doing in the beginning, I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I did not organize this farm well enough. I don't like that I have the sheeps with the cows. It's just absolute chaos. I completely regret doing it. I think I was just too overly excited when I first started this series and I wasn't really thinking, but I'm gonna have to separate them once I build actual barns for them because this is just too much. I cannot see anything. All right, so we've got three leather. That should be good. We'll go back and make our books and we'll get the enchanting table going. We're not gonna set up the enchanting table today um, just because I'm gonna need a lot of bookshelves and stuff like that. So what I'm thinking is after we make the actual table, we'll just set it aside. And I'd like to ideally get started on building a chicken coop. I was thinking about starting to build it somewhere around here. So I'll clear the area out. I already have a design ready. It looks really, really good. And we'll move the chickens over to a nicer home. For some reason, I thought you needed an actual whole bookshelf for an enchanting table, but I forgot you only need a book, which is even better. That's a lot easier. I was like, oh no, did I not get enough leather? All right, let's grab our two diamonds and we'll craft this thing. Oh yeah, here it is. Perfect. Look at that. Let's place it down. Oh yeah, that's super exciting. I am so stoked that we got that done. But we're not gonna use it quite yet just because I'm gonna have to gather a bunch of leather to make books and uh, gather all the materials we need so we can actually use it. So for now, it's just gonna get put away and we will do something with it later. So now since that's done, I think we might as well start the task of building a chicken coop. Um, I'm gonna flatten out the area over here. I've pretty much decided that I kind of want this area in the corner to be a little bit of a farm space. It's close enough, but like also far enough that you're not gonna hear the cows 24 seven by our home. All I need to do is flatten out some of this land. Then we'll be able to build the chicken coop kind of in this corner. So I'm gonna get started on that. And afterwards I'll gather all the materials and we'll just start building it. So the chicken coop is gonna be a pretty small build. It shouldn't take too long to put together, but it'll be really easy to follow along. And if you guys like it, feel free to use it. I would love, love, love to hear if you end up using this in your worlds. The structure of the chicken coop itself is like really small. It's only like three by three, but adding all of the extra details that I'm gonna show you really, really adds a lot of style and character to it. Just so it kind of stands out in your builds rather than having the chickens just like hanging out in like a fenced off area like that. This area has been pretty much sufficiently flattened. So I think it's time that we can start building on it. All right, so everything we're gonna need for this build I put in this chest. So you can see it's gonna be a lot of spruce logs, um, planks, a lot of stairs, and some random items like hay bales, barrels, and we're gonna end up using a bunch of this iron for hoppers. I'll show you all how to make them and what I'm gonna use them for because this chicken coop is gonna be kind of like semi-automatic. So I said before that the structure is gonna be three by three, but it's actually gonna be five by five. So we'll start right here by placing our spruce logs and we'll go one, two, three, four high. And then we're just gonna go across this way, one, two, three, and then place place another support beam right here and then go up four high as well. Two, three, four. Oops, I went too high on this side. That's okay. So we'll just do that in pretty much a perfect square. One, two, three, place your support beam here all the way around. One, two, three, support beam until you 
complete the structure like this. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna strip all the wood that we just placed. I just want the support structures to look more weathered, I guess, so I decided to strip them for this build. So you'll end up with this. Then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some spruce stairs and we will place them one here. Let's just put a placeholder here and then one here just so we have access up into the chicken coop. We'll get rid of this piece because we're gonna add something under it later. So once the stairs have been placed, we're just gonna leave this for a second because we're gonna go over here and we're gonna make some hoppers. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the floor down here with hoppers and I'm gonna put carpet over top. So whenever any eggs or feathers fall in, they will feed through the hoppers and out into barrels and you'll be able to collect them. So to make a hopper, it is iron in these spots and a chest in the middle. So we're gonna need probably, I think, about eight. All right, so we have our eight hoppers. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab our barrels so we can place the hoppers feeding into the barrels towards the back. What you're going to want to do next is place three barrels along the back like this. And we're going to walk around to the stairs and put our hoppers in down here. So with hoppers, what you want to make sure you have is that this little piece right here at the bottom is feeding into one of the barrels at all times and they're all connecting to each other. So I'm gonna place them touching each barrel like this. And then what I'm gonna do for each hopper afterwards is I'm gonna have a row going like this. So they're all connecting and feeding down this way to this barrel. And then I'm gonna have them going like this because you can see that if I choose to instead connect it this way, you can see if I break this one, that this one will be kind of connecting into this and flowing this way, which is fine because ultimately it's gonna be going into a barrel, but you have to keep in mind that whatever block you connect it to, it's gonna feed into that one. So we're just gonna feed them all in a straight line like that. And I don't need one here just because I'm gonna have a slab going here, so nothing should be falling into this area. So I'm just gonna fill it in with a block. So yeah, you can see if I drop a stake, it should feed in down through one of these and back into the barrel, perfect. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna fill in all of these spots with carpet. You can choose any type of carpet you want. I think yellow would also look good because it would kind of look like hay, but I'm just gonna stick with white for now. And I just need a slab real quickly to place here just so it's easy for us to go to and from this area. So now that this part's complete, we can start filling in the sides of this. And what I'm going to do is for this part, I'm going to do an upside down stair and a regular one right here just for the opening part of this chicken coop. And for these sides, I think I'm just going to fill them in with normal planks just like this. You're not going to see much of it anyway, just because I'm going to be filling this in with a lot of leaves and stuff like that. So a basic structure pretty much works. All right, now it's time to start on the roof. I want the chicken coop to look a little bit more compact and small, so I don't want the roof to go up super high. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the roof on the second block going up. Instead, usually I use like the third or the fourth block, but like I said before, we have a little bit of depth going down in here, so it doesn't have to go too high up. So we'll start on the roof. It's gonna be pretty much in the same style as this one, except the outside is gonna be spruce and it's gonna be two-toned. Inside is going to be oak. And we're just going to start with the outside of the roof, alternating between upside down stairs and right side up until we reach the middle. And once we reach the middle, we're just going to put the joining piece right here. And we'll go on the other side and do this as well. Just working our way up, alternating between the two types of stairs right until they reach the middle, just like that. Perfect, exactly what I want. So for this roof, I'm gonna do something a little bit different just because we're using so much spruce. I wanna make it look a little bit more stylized in some ways, just to give it a little bit more character. So for the edge of this roof, what I wanna do is I want to alternate between right side up and upside down stairs along the edge, just to give it a little bit more of a nice design. So we're just gonna alternate between the two like this. I'm gonna have to fill that part in. I thought that was gonna be the window, but <laughs> I misjudged that's where the window's gonna be. So just like this. It gives it just a little bit more detail to the side of the, the roof, which I think it kind of needs just because we're using just one type of block pretty much. And we're gonna do the same for this side. Just like that. 
I think it already looks a lot better. It just adds that little pop of detail. It looks really good. I tried using stone on the outside edge of this build and honestly, it just didn't end up looking right. I think that an all wood build for a chicken coop looks pretty much the best. So we're just gonna do the same thing on this side and join up in the middle here. And the outside of the roof will pre be pretty much done. Okay, so we have the outside part of the roof done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the middle in with oak. And like I said before, it's just to give it a little bit more detail. When you're doing a build that's made of pretty much all wood, it's just nice to add in two different types of wood that will complement each other, just so it's not all looking exactly the same, you know? And we're just gonna fill in the middle here with a cross beam, and it's gonna be stripped spruce. The last part of the roof, we're gonna fill in with planks on the top, like this. And I kind of thought I wanted to trick out the top of the roof a little bit more, so what I'm gonna do for this one is, I'm gonna go one more high right here with a plank, and then I'm gonna attach one right here. And yeah, I think that's looking really good so far. You can see what I mean with like the extra detail with alternating the uh, stairs on the bottom and then the two-tone roof. It just gives it that extra pop of detail to make it stand out a little bit more. So we just need to fill in a couple spots right here. And same with the roof right here. We're just gonna put a window. I think actually I'm gonna have it hanging down level with these ones. Perfect. I think those actually ended up falling into the hopper. I'm gonna have to go collect those after. So what we're gonna need next is spruce fencing, maybe some gates and a bunch of leaves. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill in the windows with fences like this. And then afterwards, I want to fill in the bottom here with leaves just to cover up the hoppers. Otherwise you're gonna see them and it's gonna end up driving me crazy this whole time. You don't wanna see that. So the best thing to do is just cover it up with something and I think the leaves look pretty good for that. All right, there's the basic shape that we have for this and it's looking really good so far. So there's a lot of other details that I wanna add to this just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. And one basic thing that you can do is at the bottom of your build, see how we have these support beams right here it looks a little bit flat so what I want to do is just add two right here and then you strip them and you can add something on top of it whether it's barrels leaves whatever you want but what I think I'm gonna do just to kind of complete the look is I need to run over and get them I'm gonna grab a couple of stairs and I'm gonna place them on top right here but they're also a really great spot for lanterns and whatever you may want to put on them. But I think it just kind of completes the look. It connects almost the roof to the bottom of the build in some ways. I think it looks pretty good. So we're just going to do that on every side. Just fill them in really quickly. With small builds like this, it's just about adding as much detail as you can to them. All right, this is what it's looking like so far. So we're making pretty good progress on it. What it's really lacking in, I find, is just like pops of color. So things like hay bales and lanterns and stuff like that really, really help complete the look of it. Now we're also gonna have to fence off the area for where the chickens are gonna roam. So I'm gonna give them a lot of space, I think. For now, I'm just gonna do just regular old fence, but I might end up filling it in alternating between gate and fence, we'll see. Unfortunately, you can't place anything like blocks and stuff like that. Don't do what I did in my previous builds where I used to place blocks and the chickens would obviously just hop right over them because they can. <laughs> it's just a nightmare, it's so sad. <laughs> So I think I'm like, do I want to make this fence look a little bit like asymmetrical possibly? Maybe we'll do a little design or shape like this. This is a lot of space for them. I feel like I did a little bit too much. <laughs> I might actually tear some of this down. I mean, I want them to have a lot of space, but at the same time, it's just, I think a little bit too ex excessive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pare it down a little bit right here and just change the shape up a bit because it'll look a little bit more interesting as well. I kind of like when things have more of an asymmetrical look to them because I find it just looks a little bit more organic, you know? So that space should be good for them. I think that's more than enough room for the chickens. We'll at least put a gate here for now though. Actually, what I want to do is I want to line up the gates with the entryway here. So I'm going to change the shape of this up a little bit. There we go, I'll have this go across and then maybe I can have it going in here. So then what we can do is put the gate in line right with the opening right there. Perfect. 
So like I said before, it's looking good, but it's just missing a little bit of different detail and texture and colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bunch of things like hay, stone, barrels, leaves, all of that stuff, just to give it a little bit more character. I'm gonna start off by um, fixing the stairs up a bit. They're just kind of floating here, which looks kind of awkward. So what I'm gonna do is place two planks here, and then I'm gonna place barrels going up like this, just right beside each step kind of just to make it look a little bit more natural rather than them floating there awkwardly. Now you have kind of like a nice looking staircase that looks more intentional. And what we can do now is I can place like a little lantern here. We can maybe also put some leaves down, just whatever looks good, whoops. Yeah, I really like the look of that. I think it kind of completes the staircase. Also the roof is looking a little bit awkward in here, like it's a little bit too high. So what I'm gonna do actually is I think I'm gonna place a lantern first. I was thinking maybe we could do barrels around here or what I was also thinking we could do is just slabs and stairs just to kind of like close off some of that height because it's a little bit much right now and just fill it in like this. Yeah I think I like that and then you just have the lantern in the middle. I could also put leaves here if I want, but I kind of like the way that this looks instead. I also like the fact that this slab kind of like completes the outside actually too. You can see how they connect here. Yeah, so you just do stairs along the edges like this and then fill the rest in with slabs and I think it just kills off some of the height that made it look a little bit awkward to begin with. And I might just leave this here as well just because I like the leaves how they look. So after we're done with that, I think we should add some stone slabs to the area just to kind of give it a little bit more texture and definition around the edges here. So I'm gonna just place them kind of randomly and we'll fill them in with other things after. So maybe some right here, Can have one right there. And unfortunately we only have two hay bales right now. So I'm just gonna have to place them, I don't know, just kind of randomly for now. And I'll collect more later and we can fill them in after. There, I'll just have them going sideways like this. It would just look so much better if one was completed right here, but that's okay. I'll just fill it in like that. We just have to keep in mind, I might have to push this back a little bit. Otherwise, honestly, the chickens are gonna fly up and <laughs> it's gonna be chaos. So we're gonna have to fix that. Just keep that in mind when you're building out the fence, if you're doing, um, doing it kind of randomly the way that I am, that you can't give them any room to fly up, otherwise they'll be gone. <laughs> You'll go to bed and then the next morning the coop will be completely empty. Okay, and I think now we just need to add a path just around here connecting to the gate. And I will path it out a little bit here. Maybe what we can do later is fill it in with gravel and stuff like that to give it a little bit more texture. But for now, I think this is pretty good. So I think the last thing I'm gonna do because we don't have any more hay barrels or anything is I'm just gonna fill in some spots with extra leaves just to add a little bit more texture around here. Be careful putting this too close to other blocks otherwise the chickens will fly away and you'll be very sad. I think that will be okay. We'll do a test run when we get the chickens in here but that should be good. And I think what we're missing right here pretty much is maybe just a little bit of light. So I'm gonna add in a couple more lanterns as well just to lighten the place up a little bit maybe what I'll do on this one is I will have a barrel on the floor like this to add a little bit of texture and there you go so I think the coop is pretty much done. I really like the look of it. We added just enough detail, I think, just to give it a little bit more texture and character and definition. You wanna pick like maybe like three or four different types of items or blocks that all complement each other. You don't wanna go overboard with too many things. And I think we picked the right assortment of stuff that all complement the spruce wood and it looks pretty good. Now all we really need to do is get the chickens in here to see if they escape and if they like it. And of course the bonus part is don't forget it is automatic as long as they drop eggs and stuff in the actual chicken coop itself you'll be able to collect some here and it does work like they end up kind of hanging out in there and eggs always end up dropping so you'll get a fair amount in these barrels so that's just kind of like a little bit of a bonus but yeah other than that it looks great and I think it's time to go get the chickens I think they're gonna be real happy with their new home we'll finally be able to get them out of just this like really sad fenced off area <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've built you a new home. Aren't you excited? Look, yes, I know you're all very, very excited. Do you want to see? All right, come with me. Follow these seeds. Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> Hello, friends. Ah! Okay, let's go. Come on, come to your new home. 
the oasis. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. It's very, very cute. And see, it took like honestly no time to build at all. Like it's a pretty, pretty simple build. You just need to add a couple of details to it just to make it stand out a bit more and it's good to go. Come friends. Oh no, I'm losing a bunch because I got distracted. All right, can y'all fit through here? Do you want to try? Perfect. Look at that. We got pretty much all of them. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm going to feed you for your good efforts. That was a long travel, I know, but I want you to enjoy your new home. I'm just going to watch you for like a minute or so to see if there's any chance for you to escape. No. Oh, I thought you were. Don't. Don't go anywhere. Please stay here with me forever, my friends. I love you all. I'm going to have to name every single single one of you. I think that requires name tags though, so maybe not. I'll name you in my mind. All right, so it seems to have worked, I think. I don't see any issues yet. And look, they're already going in here. They're already hanging out. Hey, do you like your new home? Yeah, I'm glad. Very nice. I don't think there's any chance for them to escape. I'm just kind of double checking. I don't think that they can hop up from one block over, so I'm pretty sure we should be good. I'm just gonna run out here really quick. Goodbye, my friends. Have fun. I really hope you like your new home. I know I do. I think it looks great. See, look, they're going in there. It's so cute. It works. And I'm not sure if any have dropped any eggs in there yet. Let's take a quick look. Oh, look, we got an egg. There you go. It's automatic. It works. It looks really good. The only part that kind of sucks is you have to collect the eggs along here. But honestly, eh, it's okay. <laughs> Just go in there every once in a while and clean up pretty much. But yeah, look at this. We built a little chicken coop pretty quickly too. It's a really, really simple build. Um, it doesn't take that many materials or resources. And it like you could throw this up probably in like 10 minutes. All you have to do after is just kind of like add some details to give it a little bit more character. And it turns out pretty good. And you have a really nice little home for your chickens to hang out in. But yeah, I think that's everything for today's episode. Um, I hope you all liked it, and I really hope you enjoyed this chicken coop build. In the next episode, I think that we are going to try to go into the nether. I think it's about time, honestly. <laughs> I really want to see where we're going to end up, which biome, because that's always kind of like a fear of mine. I don't want it to be Soul Sand Valley again, but you never ever know with the nether. But that's what makes it so exciting, I think. So yeah. Thank you everybody so much for watching, uh, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!